everyone. I went on EF Ultimate Breaks Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands trip earlier this summer and wanted to cover some tips, tricks, and things I wish I knew before I went. So if you're considering going on this trip, this video is for you. Tip number one, what to pack. This is a little tricky because this trip covers several different climates and being able to layer is important. I went on this trip in June and this is what I brought. Three short sleeve t-shirts, three long sleeve t-shirts, one pullover, two bathing suits, one cover up, one rain jacket, four pairs of shorts, three pairs of leggings, one dress, one pair of pajamas, a water bottle, a microfiber towel, my toiletries, a cosmetic bag, three pairs of shoes, and I also brought a packable duffel bag. I felt like I packed pretty well. However, I would recommend bringing maybe one or two long sleeve shirts and then bringing two tank tops instead. I really only wore one long sleeve shirt for a full day. The others were for parts of a day and I really could have gone without them. The Galapagos Islands are hot at this time of year. and I definitely could have gone for a tank top. I also never wore my cover up. The days that we went snorkeling, we were doing an activity beforehand. So we had to wear our bathing suits under our outfits. The two hotels that we stayed at in the Galapagos that had pools, I never wore a cover up. I just went from my room to the pool. So it honestly just took up space in my bag. The big thing for me was the packable duffel bag. My intention was to use it if I purchased a lot of souvenirs and then check my suitcase on the way home. However, it came in handy when we were going to the Galapagos because we all ended up reducing what we were bringing with us um, just for packing for just a couple of days on the islands. Um, and that way we didn't have to lug our big suitcases and all the different boats and things. We were able to leave our suitcases in storage at the hotel in Quito since we were coming back to that hotel. So it worked out really nicely. There's also a lot of time spent traveling between cities on this trip. And I highly recommend bringing a Kindle with several different books already downloaded or going ahead and downloading several movies, podcasts, or audiobooks on your phone. I ended up reading all five of the books that I had downloaded during our trip. Tip number two, toilet paper. It is not always readily available. I would stuff some toilet paper from your hotel in your day bag. Anytime that we went to the restroom that actually had toilet paper, I would just take some with me for next time. Some of the gas stations that we stopped at would have toilet paper, but you had to pay for it. So whenever you stop, go ahead and bring like a quarter with you just to pay for the toilet paper just in case. That way you aren't having to beg your travel companions for some change so that you don't have to air dry. Tip three, if your tour director offers the excursion to the Amazon, I highly recommend you go. It was $60 and included entrance to an animal sanctuary, a visit to a village, and a hike to a waterfall. It also included lunch after the village visit. For the hike, go ahead and wear water shoes like Keens. It's honestly more of a walk, not necessarily a hike, so you really don't need tennis shoes. There are so many rocks at the waterfall that it hurts to walk barefoot. Save your feet. Trust me. Tip four, cash versus card. For mainland Ecuador, every place we went really only accepted cash. I was surprised how many places in the Galapagos Islands actually accepted credit cards though. However, it wasn't every restaurant or shop, so make sure you bring enough cash just in case. There is an ATM at both the Quito and Santa Cruz airports in case you are running low. There were three included lunches and one included dinner in addition to the daily included breakfast while we were on the islands. So you're looking at two dinners plus the cost of souvenirs. Tip five, the Galapagos transit card. On the know before you go guide, it says that you need to purchase the Galapagos transit card before your trip. This is incorrect. The cost is included in your trip cost and your tour director will submit all of the information for you. I tried to do it beforehand and it would not let me because I was already registered for it. So don't stress, but I would confirm with your tour director that it has been taken care of. Tip six, Dramamine and throw up bags. You will take a speedboat from Santa Cruz Island to San Cristobal Island. When we were there, the ocean was incredibly rough. In fact, it was the roughest our tour director had ever seen. 
It was supposed to be a two hour long boat ride, but it ended up being closer to three and a half hours because of the waves. Of the eight travelers on our group, four of them ended up getting sick. So go ahead and take a Dramamine well before the boat ride if there's even a remote possibility that you get seasick. And for the love of all things good, take a vomit bag at the beginning of the boat ride and open it just in case. One of the guys on our trip didn't open the bag, and when he needed it, ended up vomiting all over himself and the floor, and we had over an hour left. There were several choice words said. It was the worst three and a half hours of my life. I will say, I think we just got really unlucky with how rough the ocean was. Our tour director had never seen anyone throw up prior to our boat ride, and we had a 50% throw up rate. Overall, I really enjoyed this trip. Ecuador is a beautiful country with welcoming people, and I really hope this video helps prepare you for your trip. If you're ready to book your first trip with EF Ultimate Break, you can book using the link in the video description to save $100 off your trip. The link will automatically apply the promo code. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you have happy travels.